Well, let's get to the tweet that started. People wanted to know this, so hold on a second. So this this came up because so so Algorand just launched Python this week, which means if you download AlgoKit 2.0, it's full Python support. You're coding in Python, and you're, you're using Python to interact with the blockchain. So you don't need an intermediary. This is my understanding. I'm not. I know how to code a little bit in Python, but I'm no computer expert. And that's kind of where the drama actually came from, because someone on my channel mentioned earlier in the week mentioned, hey, ICP has Python support. How is that different? So when I went to look up, and we'll we'll look at this, when I went to look up ICP and how it works, it, when I read the description, I had a hard time understanding what the difference was. So um, I tagged John on the post and said, hey, anyone, anyone, maybe John could answer this or someone else. But what's the difference here? Well, you know, what's the difference between Algorand on Python and Algorand, you know, Algorand on ICP? Because it looks, and we'll explain it. I'll show you the tweet. But I, I, I wanted to understand the difference because I didn't know how to answer that question. And I think like it's probably something I should be able to answer. Actually, I think Everyday Algonauts a, a coder and knows more about this. So maybe you can explain the difference and we'll put you on screen here. Well, let's look at... Okay, so this is what I this is what I tweeted. Okay, so and it just it went crazy. <laughs> One of my viewers pointed out that ICP offers Python support. Is this different than Algorand Pure Python? I know nothing about WebAssembly. Maybe someone technical like John Allen Woods could weigh in on the differences. I think it'd be good for folks to understand. So it says ICP uses WebAssembly as the virtual machine machine for executing smart contracts. This means developers can write smart contracts in popular programming languages such as JavaScript, TypeScript, Rust, Python, and Motoko, which is designed specific or excuse me, specifically designed for ICP. So I didn't know what WebAssembly was, but I did look it up. Uh, Python and WebAssembly of, of elevating performance for web apps. So it actually makes it faster. So WebAssembly, or WASM as they call it, empowers Python users to explore new frontiers of speed, compatibility, and language interoperability. So it says, Python developers have long appreciated the language's versatility and productivity, which is true. However, concerns persist about Python's performance limitations and seamless integration with other languages. The emergence of WebAssembly bridges this gap. WASM empowers Python users to explore new frontiers of speed, compatibility, and language interoperability. So at one point, they just kind of explain it. So yeah, WebAssembly simplifies the deployment of Python applications on the web by compiling Python code into a format that can be executed directly into the browser. Uh, in the browser, developers can seamlessly deliver their Python applications to a wide range of platforms without the need for complex setup and server-side processing. So I'm trying to understand because that looks like, if we go back to the tweet here, If they're using WebAssembly and you can write smart contracts in all these popular languages, I don't understand the difference. So I asked, I asked, you know, um, they could weigh on the difference. Yomo, now Yomo, this is one of uh, people who do the Bork Bork series and they have that arcade. Or if you have a Bork Bork, you can play on the arcade every so often. So it seems the same at the surface level to me, which is what I thought. And this is where John Woods, Wait, and well, first he added this, which I had already seen this explanation. He's talking about Viper for Ethereum and SmartPy for Tezos. I'm assuming SmartPy Smart for Tezos and probably Viper too is similar to like PyTeal, where it was like a sort of proprietary Python like thing, which is kind of how they explained it. So Yomo tweeted that seems the same at the surface level to me. John said, that's because you don't understand it. Well, I don't understand. Yeah. So you almost said, this is the drama, in case you're wondering. I was a little surprised. Um, it did It did seem a little snarky, maybe unnecessarily, unnecessarily snarky, but whatever. It wasn't toward me, I guess. But still. <laughs> he said, thanks, John. That's why I said at the surface level, appreciate you taking the time to talk down instead of educate an active member of the ecosystem. And he is like a creator. You know, he's got an arcade. Probably one of the things that works best on Algorand. And he said, you actively detract, all right. I said, thanks again, John. Have a good weekend. It's like they had a meeting at Algorand this morning. Be a-holes to our users. <laughs> Maybe some of you all are just annoying and slightly entitled. 
So like it kind of blew up and then of course Kraken got involved and you know he's the one that got in a fight with uh John earlier in the Twitter spaces. I, I thought it was kind of an annoying fight, to be honest. It was about it was about like active users, and he had like one kind of point, which was kind of a good point, but then it was like an hour of like continually asking about the thing after John already conceded the point. I thought that was a little silly. But that's that. Um yeah, and otherwise, like I still didn't think it made a lot of sense. That's more tweets. So, and someone asked, "Can we get Anthony Scaramucci to tweet about Python upgrade?" I, so the, yeah, this was Mark's thing. He said, "I heard some pushback here and there about why this was a big deal. Putting this in the same category as Viper or Ethereum." or smart power for Tezos. Let's make this clear. Algorand's native support for Python stands alone. It doesn't fit into that category. Our release with CalgroKit 2.0 introduces regular, semantically normal Python as Algorand's canonical language. But isn't that isn't that what, what Python on WebAssembly would be, except uh, it... I, I mean, isn't it this? Isn't it just Python? It doesn't. It's not like a separate... It's not like a smart pie or a Viper. It's just, it just says Python, so... So I don't think it's Python-like, but there could be differences. I just don't understand them. I think it's different than what this talks about. But yeah, I thought that lack of engagement was a little annoying because I haven't seen this explained anywhere. And, and I see a lot of stuff. I, I've mostly just seen excitement for it, for Python and Algorand, but I haven't seen an explanation. Did I have more on this or was that kind of my thing? That was it. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure why that had to become had to become dramatic. Seems a little silly for it to, uh, to have blown up like that, but uh, sometimes that's how it goes. All right, Ovidia Algonaut says WebAssembly is just the compilation of the script that can run on the website. It's an alternative to JavaScript, HTML, and nobody uses it. Sure, but isn't that using Python? Is it a different kind of Python? So this is the same as Flash was a long time before. Palantir Licks, he says, uh, ICP is literally a great internet and they don't use hosting. They host no AWS. Everyday Algorand says, native Python and Algorand means the smart contract code is generated, app deployed, and can do whatever, whatever one can code in Algorand. Well, the one thing I was going to add is that they're going to have a they're going to have a call on April 5th, which I'm either going to live stream or I'll cover just after the fact. Um, supposedly, they're going to explain this in more depth. Everybody all going to say, I'm not an expert on ICP, but I think they work as some kind of request to other chains. It is absolutely a different thing than native smart contract support. Okay. May, you know, I, I've I've kind of said that you know I've kind of I've kind of like trying to acknowledge too that it's possible this just might be outside my pay grade to understand fully. <laughs>